Is hell under the earth? What is hidden in the earth's core? Hellgate is the deepest borehole ever dug. If you want to see the strange results of this excavation, join us in your channel, Master Facts. Hello, and welcome to Master Facts channel. We are now back with another different video. Before we go to the video, I need to say that if you are interested in this series of content, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you do not miss future videos. The Kola Peninsula in the heart of the Arctic Circle is like a dream, with a lake, snow, fog and dust. But an abandoned building has ruined all this natural beauty. The building was once a center for scientific research during Soviet Union of Russia. Right in the middle of the building, on the concrete floor, there is a large metal lid. Rusty cover sewn to the floor with rusty screws. This hole is known as the Gate of Hell. In fact, the Kola drilling borehole is the deepest man-made borehole drilled and the deepest natural hole on Earth. The 12-kilometer Kola borehole is so deep that locals swear the cries of the people can be heard from the bottom of the hole. You may want to know that the former Soviet engineers and workers dug this borehole for 20 years. They managed to sink one-third of the Earth's crust, leaving only two-thirds of the Earth's mantle when the Soviet Union collapsed and they stopped the drilling. Of course, the curiosity to reach the depths of the Earth was not unique to the Soviet Union. The U.S. state was also a competitor. Like conquering space, crossing the Earth's crust and reaching its mantle was a challenge to show power and prove superiority over other powers present at the time, decades after that excavation. The Japanese are now involved in digging the ground. In an interview, the program director of the Japan Institute of Marine and Earth Sciences said, Our ultimate goal is to sample the Earth's mantle as it is today. In a place like Oman, the mantle is closer to the Earth's surface. But it is the mantle is millions of years old. It's like seeing a dinosaur alive and seeing a dinosaur bone fossil. If you think of the Earth as something like a peach, its shell is a thin layer no more than 40 kilometers thick. Beneath it is a mantle more than 2,900 kilometers thick, and beneath it are nuclei approximately 1,200 kilometers thick. Reaching the depths of the Earth, like a journey into space, was in fact a journey into the unknown. Scientists wanted to get to a place that humans had never been before. From a scientific point of view, the samples that came out of these deep holes from the heart of the Earth could be as important as the samples that astronauts brought from the Moon. The only difference between the two space and ground races was that the latter had no winner and was only for more information from the depths of the Earth. The Americans began drilling to unknown depths in the early 1950s. Instead of digging a very, very deep borehole from the ground, they decided to cut short and start from the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. The Earth's crust is thinner in the ocean floor, but the problem is that the thinnest crust is usually in the deepest parts of the ocean. The Soviet drilling program in the Arctic Circle began in 1970. 20 years later, the Germans began their drilling program in Bavaria, eventually sinking to a depth of 9 kilometers. The main problem with drilling projects was the same problem with space projects. There was no technology to do it and it had to be invented. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, when the Russians were willing to cooperate with the West, they used some of the methods they had devised, but unfortunately their equipment was not ready in time. The Kola well is still there, but its entrance is closed. 
The problem was that the lower they went, the higher the temperature became, and the more the machines stopped working. After a while, the governments came to the conclusion that the record-breaking cost of the drilling competition was not profitable for them, and stopped the programs. The Soviet drilling project in Kola lasted until 1992. At a depth of 12 kilometers, the temperature had reached 180 degrees Celsius, which was about twice the temperature they expected. Drilling was impossible, and with the collapse of the Soviet Union, there was essentially no funding for such programs. Three years after the collapse, the Kola Research Center and drilling facility closed. But the strangest part of these excavations, which has been recorded by the Advanced Equipment of the Aerospace Organization, is the sounds at the end of these excavations, which sounds like human howling. At the end, we invite you to listen to some of these sounds. In this video, we've had a brief review of the most man-made excavations and we hope you enjoyed it. What do you think? Share it with us in the comments. We hope you enjoy watching this video. Before I say goodbye if you found this video interesting kindly like the video. Also subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, so that you don't miss out on future videos. We wish you health and happiness until the next video. Thank you so much for being with us until the end of the video. Goodbye friends.